Welcome back guys, it's me Karen. Today I am showing you how I'm gonna get ready for my wedding. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do my hair, at least attempt to do my own hair and do my makeup. Okay, I'm gonna start off with curling my hair with the High Tide Deep Waver by Amika. I really want like nice, natural, beachy waves. So actually before I start doing that, I'm going to spray a little bit of Bushwick Beach No Salt Wave Spray. I gotta shake this stuff up first. Ooh, it smells so good. Put this on my hair. That is very shiny. So easy. I don't know how to curl my hair. Amika definitely makes like some of the best curling and straightening tools for girls that don't exactly know what they're doing with the heating irons. Okay, so now I am going to bring all my hair back to the back of my head. I'm gonna take a rubber band, just tie it up. I'm going to start off with using a primer on my face. Let's talk wedding. Some of you guys may know that I got married last July. So you guys are probably like, why are you doing a wedding again? Chinese people, they need to do a Chinese banquet. So it starts off in the morning and all your friends are there. Groom gets the bride at the mom and dad's house. So in my case, it's gonna be my grandparents' house and all the groomsmen and the groom will have to do all these fun things in order to get the bride. So that kind of goes on. And then after you do that, you get, you, have, you do the tea ceremony at your grandparents' house to get their blessing. So the groom gets the blessing from the parents. Just finished my primer. And then the next thing I'm gonna do, Nikita Dragon's Dragon Beauty color corrector. I don't want that. And this here. So all that happens and then groom gets a bride. Typically, Chinese Hong Kong tradition, you would go to the groomsman's house now. But since Leo's family isn't from Hong Kong, we may or may not do that step. Okay, so for foundation, I'm using Tarte's Multitasking Foundation. And I like this because it has skincare properties in it. The actual ceremony starts for us around dinner time, 6 p.m. It's usually at like a restaurant. I'm gonna have a wedding dress and basically this wedding, I did not plan zero nada of it. It's actually more for my parents. Chinese people love to show their children off to their friends, their relatives. This banquet is, it's really for my grandparents and my parents to celebrate me and Leo's union. Let's blend this baby out. My skin is going to look so flawless. I'm gonna make sure I do like a bunch of masks before my wedding. You know, there's only like two foundations that I love right now. This one and also the Dior foundation. I freaking love that guy. I want a little bit more moisture in my skin because I want to look super glowy. So it's called Found Stealer. So moisturizing, I freaking love it. And it also gives me like major coverage. Time for the brows. They need to look so completely fluffy and flawless on my wedding day. These M Cosmetics new brow creams are amazing. I'm gonna start off with taupe at the front of my brows. And what I love about these brow products is that they do not clump at all. I already started off the front of my brow right here. I like pushing my brows upwards like this. For the end of brows, I'm gonna start using the color Ebony and really just deepen the brow hairs. Notice how that color is just so perfect. Now that I got my brow hair situated, I'm using Fine Liner Brow Pencil in Ebony. And I'm just gonna go ahead and draw feathery strokes at the end of my brows because they are non-existent and very short. For eyes, I'm gonna pop into the Lorac Los Angeles Mega Pro 3 palette. The reason why I'm taking this to Hong Kong is because there's just so many options for me to work with. And these colors are all very neutral, which is perfect for a wedding look. A pecan shade would be really pretty to start blending my eyes out with. I'm gonna put a little bit of primer on my lids first. Leo's gonna ask me some questions. He's sitting on the other side right now about the wedding. This is actually his first Hong Kong like Chinese wedding ever. I'm sure like he's as curious about it as you guys are. And I'm gonna try my best because I haven't really been to that many. So let's see, let's see where this goes. Okay, I'm excited. You said earlier, there's a lot of food. How much food, like how many courses are we talking? Oh my God. Like Typically it's days. like a four to five course meal. You would definitely have like soups in the beginning and there would be like yu ti tong, which is like shark fin. That sounds really bad, but Chinese people love shark fin soup. If it's not shark fin, it's like abalone. It really shows a sign of like, you're serving the best dishes when you serve abalone. Seafood. Yeah, seafood is like a really big thing. I heard from my Mandarin instructor 
that we're going to be expected to go around to each table. Oh yeah, a part of Chinese banquets is that there are going to be rounds of tables, like 12 rounds of different tables. My family is really big. My mom is a 10th child of a family of 10, so you can imagine how many uncles and aunts and cousins I have just on my mom's side. My dad is the oldest of four, so you can kind of imagine that too. My grandparents have some friends and we're from Hong Kong, so there's a lot of friends and family in Hong Kong. I'm gonna use this one, Bellini. So we're gonna be walking around the banquet. We're gonna be toasting everyone that's like coming and... How do you toast in Cantonese? What do people usually say? Gone boy, gone boy. Okay, so we got the food covered, got the drinks covered. What do people usually show up? So we're, we're, so we're showing up in traditional wedding attire. Mm-hmm. What does that look like? How would you describe it? Well, you're in a tux. And then I'm gonna be in a wedding dress. Dude, you guys, I only found out I needed a wedding dress because my parents didn't tell me. My parents are funny. They're not planners, just like me. I went to Beholden. They sell wedding dresses and you can get them the day of. You don't have to wait for them to ship or order them or anything like that. I found the wedding dress that fits me the best as well as the easiest to tailor. This is such like a last minute put together kind of wedding for me. Now I'm gonna conceal my eyes with Huda Beauty's, ooh, this stuff is good. This is Huda Beauty's High Coverage Creamy Concealer in Sugar Biscuit. So I like doing this after I do my eyeshadow so that it's all like cleaned up. And then after that, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just blend that into my skin. This combo is so good. I love you. I love you. You look great. Thank you. I'm not even done yet. I haven't even contoured yet. I haven't even set my face yet. Like we're gonna powder my face. Now we're gonna do the powdering aspect. Huda, Huda Beauty got your girl. This is the cupcake setting powder. Okay, so going in here with my sponge and my powder, I'm gonna bake my face. On my wedding, I am for sure baking. This is to contour my face. Okay. Yep. I look crazy right now. Nice. All right, so we got this shit going on. We are going to use this eyeliner. All right, so for eyeliner, I'm gonna start off with the cake liner in Mad Max Brown. I like to use the brown as an outline first, and then actually I like to go in with the black after to tight line. So now I'm gonna use Trooper to tight line. So I left the nose contour here a little bit longer before I blend because I want the color to be a little bit more dramatic. Now it's time to dust off all the powder. We're now in blush time. We're using Jouer's Bouquet D'Amour. And I wanna use this shade called Marigold and adorn me So these two right here. Apply it to the tops of my cheeks. I really love like a super blushy look. And then for lip liner, I'm using the color Trendsetter from Huda Beauty. It's like a beautiful pink shade. Then for lips, I'm using Fenty Beauty's Gloss Balm and Fussy. Add a little bit of shine. I'm gonna pop on some lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on. I'm gonna put highlight on with this Cover FX palette. This palette is everything to travel with. I'm gonna go with highlighter and brightener. I'm gonna start off with the tip of my nose. It's perfect for highlighting. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my cheeks. Now I'm gonna take the brightener shade right here and apply that to the tip top of my cheekbones. So now that will really just amp it up for me. Take it to my chin too. And also my cupid bow. I decided to take my hair down because I thought this look is actually pretty cute too. I might wear this. So now I have two different reference photos for the hair person who's gonna do my hair. I like this messy beachy wave look. Wow, Amika, Amika's pull through. 
and this product right here really makes a huge difference and also obviously this iron and does a trick you barely need to know how to use an iron this just crimps everything for you so last but not least we're going to spritz a little bit of dewiness beautifulness mm. and also my hair I can feel it. it's like loving the moisture so this is how your girl's probably gonna look like on her wedding day very beautiful you know everything that I'm using in this video is obviously like top-notch stuff because I'm using on my wedding day if you guys want to check out the products feel free to check the description box below so you know what y'all know what to do give this video a heart right here and leave me a comment telling me what your favorite cartoon ever was mine was Sailor Moon and then next to Sailor Moon was the Powerpuff Girls and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>